Iran rejecting claims Friday that one of its missiles brought down a Ukrainian plane near Iran's capital this week, killing all 176 people on board, including dozens of Canadians. The head of Iran's civil aviation organization says the cause of the crash isn't clear yet, but he's certain the plane was not hit by a missile. The Ukraine-bound flight went down shortly after takeoff, just hours after Iran fired missiles at U.S. targets in Iraq. On Thursday, Canada, the U.K. and the U.S. among those saying the plane was likely hit by an Iranian missile. We have intelligence from multiple sources, including our allies and our own intelligence. The evidence indicates that the plane was shot down by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. This may well have been unintentional. We have no reason to uh, uh, not uh, uh, believe uh, uh, the reports we have seen from different uh, NATO allied capitals. Information indicating that plane uh, may have been downed by uh, Iranian air defense uh, systems. The head of NATO emphasizing the need for a thorough and transparent investigation. The Transportation Safety Board of Canada says it's been invited by Iran to visit the disaster scene, adding, we are making arrangements to travel to the site. Washington and Ottawa do not have diplomatic relations with Tehran. But CBS News reports the site has already been scrubbed of virtually all debris. Ukraine's foreign minister confirming Friday that Ukrainian investigators now have access to the plane's black boxes and recordings of communications between the pilot and Tehran flight control. At the time of his update, though, he says they haven't started examining the information yet. We do believe that it's likely that that plane was shot down by an Iranian missile. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says Washington will take appropriate action if the investigation confirms that belief. He went on to detail new U.S. sanctions on Tehran in retaliation for Iranian missile attacks on U.S. forces in Iraq this week. He also faced tough questions over the U.S. decision to kill top Iranian commander Qasem Soleimani last week. Pompeo insists the move was justified by an imminent threat to Americans and American assets, despite criticism from Democrats and some Republicans who say they've been briefed on few specifics. I don't know exactly which minute. We don't know exactly which day it would have been executed. But it was very clear. Qasem Soleimani himself was plotting a broad, large-scale attack against American interests, and those attacks were imminent. Canada's foreign affairs minister says he spoke with Pompeo on the phone Friday morning and a readout of their call says they discussed intel that the plane was likely shot down by an Iranian missile and that Pompeo offered the U.S. government's full assistance to the ongoing investigation. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.